Hello friends, welcome to a new happy learning video. Quick question, do you like to travel? And if so, where would you like to go? How about going to Brazil? But do you know where Brazil is? Brazil is here. It's so big and look how much water surrounds it. No wonder it has such wonderful beaches. And is it far away? Well, it depends on where we are. Mexico, for example, is closer to Brazil than Russia. Makes sense, right? Of course it does. And all thanks to this fantastic globe. If we didn't have a globe to understand where Brazil is located on our planet, we would have to put on an astronaut suit and go into space. The globe is a sphere, an exact representation of the Earth, but in miniature form. It allows us to locate absolutely all the continents islands and oceans in their corresponding places. Incidentally, the oceans are always painted blue. The globe also allows us to divide the Earth into two halves, the Northern Hemisphere and the Southern Hemisphere. Where would you place Brazil? Very good! a small part in the Northern Hemisphere and a larger part in the Southern Hemisphere. We call the imaginary line that we draw to divide the Earth into two halves. The equator. Sounds familiar, doesn't it? The equator line also allows us to locate the poles. The North Pole is at the top and the South Pole is at the bottom. Easy, isn't it? In addition to the equator, we also have another imaginary line. One that joins the Northern Hemisphere with the Southern Hemisphere, passing through the center of the planet. It's as if we were going through an orange with a stick from top to bottom. This line is called the Axis of Rotation. The Earth rotates around this imaginary line, which causes the day and the night. And did you know that it is slightly tilted? Interesting, right? The globe is like holding the world in our hands. But the truth is, for some things, it's not very practical. For example, it doesn't allow us to see all the places on Earth at once. And neither is it very practical to take on a trip either. It takes up a lot of space. It's for this reason we have the planisphere. The planisphere is another way of representing our planet. It's a map of the entire surface of the Earth and allows us to see the continents and the oceans, but on a flat surface. On a planisphere, we can also see the equator, the poles, and also the parallels and meridians, which are the lines into which the Earth is divided to help us calculate distances. So we can get a clearer idea of the distance between Brazil and Russia or between Spain and Mexico just by taking a quick look at it. What's more, the planispheres can be folded up so they take up very little space and fit perfectly into a suitcase when we go on a trip. But if we only had the planisphere, we would think the Earth is flat and we know it's not. In other words, the globe and the planisphere are very important. They represent exactly the same thing, but 
just in different ways. And now, shall we go to Brazil? Or should we try and find Japan on the map and then decide where to go? Bye friends, see you in the next video.